Hello friends, welcome to my channel Arva Misa Kodwa Parva. This is Prashant Tulasi and uh, in this video what we are going to see is about the WLP program which is offered by Bits Pilani and uh, what I have done is I have already completed this course in the span of 2017 to 19 and this video is purely to bring awareness among people or students who is mainly focused on work environment and who hardly finds time to focus on their studies or for their development part so this video is for you and I've already prepared a video which has already been released two weeks before please ensure that you have a visit to that so that you will get uh, introduction about this WLP program but this video is a continuation of that so that what are all the open points which is left at that side will be covered in this video so hope you like this video we will see that point by point The admission of this program starts today, which is May 11th, and uh, the courses offered by Bits Pilani under this WLP programs are MTech, BTech, MSc, MBA, and certification programs. So, when it purely comes for the engineering background students, so or the working professionals, I would rather ask them to go with MTech or BTech because. Uh, you can find uh, all the disciplines which will be shown after my video. So this will have a consolidated list or a field which is focused for engineers. So I would prefer all the engineers to go for this rather than MSc or MBA. If it is on that path or focus of selection then you can go ahead. When it comes to evaluation of components, which is nothing but a split off of marks. So as I said earlier in the previous video, in a total of 100 marks, which has been split in terms of percentage. So 15% comes for the assignment and quiz and 35% comes for the mid sem exam and the last 50% comes for the final exam. So hope this is very much clear for you and I am very much sure that this is a very flexible syllabus and a course structure which will be very much helpful for working professionals so in order to have a work-life balance then when it comes to exam centers location so the exam centers are planned in most of the places covering India so the people in India will hardly find an exam center which is nearby so when it comes to the other location that is outside India Dubai is the only location where Bitspilani campus is there so these are all the exam locations which the students can prefer for writing the exam. So this is nothing but the mid-semester exam and the final exam which you will be asked to go to the center and write in person. So the minimum academic requirement for the completion of the course for masters it is 5.5 CGPA which is nothing but a 55 percentage you can take it as an approx and for the BTEC students it is 4.5 CGPA and uh, the other thing is you must not secure a grade called E which is a very less score which is considered as a fail so the minimum eligibility criteria is you must be above 5.5 or 4.5 CGPA and you must not carry E in any of the courses which you have undergone so finally comes the question and answer session so where I'm going to give a brief answer for all the questions raised by the subscriber. So the questions will follow after my video. So I'll go point by point and what I would request the subscribers is you just listen to my video and after that you just cross check with your questions which I have shown at the last so that you can correlate it and even that I have given a reply for that. So if you are a new subscriber, I think you can go to the comment section and you can read the questions one by one so that it will give a detailed understanding about this course. So first question is the selection of mentor. Uh, in this course, a mentor is selected in such a way that if you are applying for bachelors, the mentor should be masters and if you are applying for masters then 
the mentor should be masters or a PhD. So if in your company, a master degree completed, professional is not available and only bachelors is available. And if he has a five plus years experience, then you can go with him. So this is uh, flexibility given by bits. It, there will be no issues in selecting a mentor for this course. So hope the mentor part is very much clear. Then the other point is regarding payment of fees. So here Bitspilani, they have not asked us to pay the complete fees at a single shot. So some flexibility is given that is payment of fees through installments. So if the students are finding it uh, difficult in the payment of fees, I think you can go for that option. So the detailed uh, information about the WLP Bitspilani program, the link is given at the uh, description of the video. You can make use of it or else you can Google as WLP Bits so that if you give a search, only this link comes at the top so that it, it will be easy for you to browse out all the options available for this WLP program. The most important part is the placement. So here Bitspilani has clearly confirmed that placements will not be arranged for the WLP students. So what the students will get is a transcript at the end of the course and a degree certificate. So placements will not be there and this will only add the weightage to your resume or for your career growth. Last, uh, the value of the degree certificate from this WLP program. So this is the most important part which everyone is focused upon. So the degree certificate which we will obtain at the end is a much more weightage than a distance education certificate because here uh, in my case we had a private convocation which has been planned by the professor P. B. Venkatraman sir. So this based on the request from our batch students they arranged it. So you can try if it's applicable for your course and if your professor agrees. The important point is the degree certificate which we obtain after the completion of the course is the same as the resident student who is doing his IS studies at Bitspilani campus. So whether it is WLP program or a normal program, the final degree certificate is one. So you can go ahead and if someone asks what is your course, you can say it as I completed my masters and you need not worry about it, whether it's masters or whether it comes under distance education. So you can be very clear that this is not a distance education course, this is purely a WLP course, which is a normal degree recognized all over the world. In addition to that, what I've done is, I've also done my degree certificate verified by Wes. So luckily I got the result as masters. So I am very much sure that this will be helpful for your immigration to other countries as well as for your job profile. So, so I hope this video will be sufficient for you in terms of this WLP program. And if you have any more queries, please feel free to comment in the comments area at the bottom so that I will look into it and give you a reply as soon as possible. Do share this with your friends and if you like this video, please share and like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.